All right, hey, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time it is, there we go, where you are. Um, so I apologize for the delay. It's, it's been a little bit since I put one of these up. Uh, it's, <clears throat> I am three and a half most months post-op now. So my surgery was the 4th of December, uh, and today is the 18th of March. Uh, so a little recap since my last video, <clears throat> excuse me. I was taken off of my protocol by my surgeon, which is a plus. I'm thankful for that. Uh, where's that little one? Yeah. I'm thankful for being taken off my protocol because that means that the folks over in physical therapy can get a little bit more aggressive with me um, and the healing process, right? So trying to get me uh, through those, those last couple of hurdles. Uh, so uh, I guess now, uh, let me pan back out a little bit. Pardon the, the lack of attire, um, <clears throat> but I figured I'd be you know out there, put myself out there completely. Um, let's adjust this here a little bit and zoom out a little bit more. Okay, so so far, uh, left hand, right, injured side, involved side. Range of motion is almost back to full um, without assistance. Now I can give it a little push uh, to get it the rest of the way up there. And the reason for that is because the muscles uh, still aren't quite strong enough to be able to do everything that they're supposed to. Uh, so front raise, my lateral raise comes up and back. One of the issues that I'm running into is right back here, my scapula. Uh, the muscles are super weak from over uh, overcompensating for an extended period of time and then what they call the subscap so right in through here uh, underneath the uh, the scapula itself is causing some problems with my flexibility my mobility but I'm getting there uh, as you can see I, I need to get back in the gym I got a little bit around the middle uh, but I'm working on that as well so, uh, good news of all of this is we're getting there, all right? So, it's, it's taken some time. Uh, there's quite a bit uh, that's gone into this so far. Uh, one of the next, oh my goodness. <clears throat> one of the next things that we're going to be doing uh, is needles. They're going to dry needle me, also known as, uh, what is it, acupuncture, uh, to try to get those muscles to, you know, fidget, react, and then relax uh, and and we're hoping that that's going to take care of the rest of it now oh one other thing that i forgot to show you which is my range of motion reaching to the back so that's pretty darn good uh considering so there's my right hand and there's my left hand now so i still got some work to do uh, now they gave me a pulley little pulley to use uh wraps over the top of the door so I'll be using that here soon to help with that. So the two main things that I'm having problems with now, uh, what you just saw, getting my hand further up my back, and then the other is in the laying position with my arm here at 90 degrees, and them trying to rotate it back. Even right now, thinking about it, I'm automatically arching my back in anticipation for the discomfort that comes. And it's, it's right down deep inside. So when I try to rotate it back, uh, it doesn't go as far as the right hand can. It's kind of stuck right there. And even more so there. All right, so those are some of the things that I'm trying to work on. Uh, and the reason that we're trying to be so aggressive is right here in the left elbow, uh, there's a bone spur just underneath the tricep tendon attachment uh, to the arm bone. So. In order for me to get that surgery done, uh, the surgeon has to be comfortable with the range of motion and strength built back into the shoulder. Now, having said that, what are some of the things that we're doing? Well, since I was taken off a of protocol, um, some of the exercises that they've got me on now, uh, I'm doing uh, what's called a BOSU ball. Uh, it's got the flat top, the rounded bottom, uh, right? You see folks sometimes squatting on them, doing push-ups on them. Uh, so I'm on the BOSU ball now hands flat and rotating back and forth for the shoulder, trying to get some more strength and mobility built into it. Uh, they've got me using what's called the Gravitron, which is like a dip and a pull-up machine built in uh, together, but it's weighted. 
Uh, and by weighted, I mean whatever number you put it on, 100 pounds, that's the amount of weight that subtracts from your body weight for you to do the exercise. Um, so right now I'm right around 230. Um, getting on the Gravitron, I put it last time at 110, right? So 120 pounds, just over half of my body weight for doing pull-ups. And then uh, I can't do a full dip yet. Um, as soon as the elbows come back and the shoulders start to go up, uh, the discomfort kicks in. So I'm doing about one half, two thirds of a dip, um, holding for five seconds and then coming back up. Uh, they've also got me doing what's called scaption. My golly, let me move that down a little bit. They've got me doing what's called scaption, you know, thumbs up, arms out about 45 degrees. Um, what did I start with? A pound and then arms up as high as you can go, arms back down, arms up as high as you can go, arms back down. Uh, scaption, I'm doing uh, lateral raises as well, so a two pound weight coming up and out uh, to the side. That one does not feel good at all. I'm trying to think of what else. Uh, internal, external rotation. So using a, a band, placing it here and a towel underneath the arm between your body and the elbow and rotating. Uh, what this does is it stops the shoulder from doing all kinds of crazy movement, right? So pulling in as an internal and then external rotation, rotating outward from the body. Uh, and, and then they got this thing called King Kong. Uh, <laughs> man, King Kong. So you grab a BOSU ball. Uh, the smaller the better. Uh, trust me on this one. All right, so you have, uh, not a BOSU, I'm sorry, a uh, Swiss ball. So the big ball you do crunches on. Uh, smaller, better, bigger, harder. Uh, grab a hold of the ball. I have to hold it out in front of me. Uh, because my physical therapist, my tech is about 4 foot 11. Uh, I usually have to get down on the floor so I kneel. Uh, in order to play this game with her, because uh, I'm six foot two, so, uh, but I hold the ball out in front of me, core nice and tight, and then she uppercuts, you know, right hook, beats on the top of it, uh, and the purpose of it is to try to keep the ball uh, central, uh, right in the middle as best you can, uh, while this person is punching and slapping and banging all over it. Uh, so it's interesting, all right. Uh, and since <clears throat> off protocol, I've also started back to the gym. Um, so one of the things that my, my tech asked me not to do, she asked me not to, not to work out, not to lift weights, do anything with the involved or injured side uh, when I go to the gym on days that I'm supposed to see her. Uh, because I guess it messes up, it throws off some of the numbers, right? Trying to figure out, well... Did you lose strength? Did you lose mobility? Or did you go to muscle failure while you were in the gym? All right, so I have to, I have to be particular about what I, what I do with my workout regime. Um, but I just started back. Um, my hope, my desire, my plan, uh, the Copper Classic, which is a local like bodybuilding and fitness competition here in Sierra Vista. The, uh, the event is in two weeks. I obviously, I mean, looking at me, I won't be participating in it. However, uh, my goal is still set to participate next year. Uh, even if I, if I don't place, uh, if I'm the last person, you know, the last one uh, in the competition altogether, um, that is a goal that I've established for myself. <clears throat> and I've already started laying the groundwork with, you know, with my workout routine, getting back into the gym, getting everything rolling, even understanding the fact that I will be having an elbow surgery coming up. Uh, so the more I can get done before the surgery, the less recoup I'm going to have to do uh, post-surgery, all right? And I'm, I'm assuming that the better shape that I'm in, uh, the faster my recovery will go, uh, similar to the shoulder. I've, I've done fairly well, all things considered. Um, it's, it hasn't been an easy road. Be prepared for some work. Um, understand the difference between discomfort and pain. Uh, if something hurts, make sure you let your, your physical therapist, your tech, whomever, make sure you let them know it hurts uh, and what type of pain it is anything sharp anything dealing with like tingling down into the fingers uh, you need to back off uh, matter of fact it's probably better that you stop whatever that exercise is completely um, because you run a risk of re-injuring um, so a, a burning sensation uh, in 
in an area in uh, a joint is usually indicative of something tearing like a tendon uh, so so if you have burning stop uh, sharp pain stop uh, majority of the pain that I have right now is is dull uh, it's down in the joint uh, it's like you know if you if you pop your knuckles right before they pop that feeling that I get that's what's going on in the shoulder uh, fortunately nothing's popped yet right um, but yeah just just take take it easy but be aggressive if that makes any kind of sense uh, you need to make sure that you're listening to your body listening to your tech uh, and doing what's best for you physically to get yourself back to where you want or need to be all right so uh, I guess that's about it um, I don't want to keep you out too long it's already been almost 11 doggone minutes I, I'm over here rambling um, if there's anything that you have questions about uh, if you'd like for me as we go on to share my workout routine some of the things that I've started doing and even the weights that I'm using uh, I backed off of everything even working legs squats cut my weight way back from what I was using before all right so but if if there's anything that, that you'd like for me to share with you that I'm doing um, meal plan supplements whatever uh, let me know and I'd be happy to, to pop in here and throw them in the comments all right uh, so as always thank you for watching I pray that this this brings you some some support some help um, maybe a little bit of uh, enthusiasm for moving forward and uh, in, in getting healthy all right thank you and take care